Good afternoon, Ian Goodwin here from Agriculture Victoria. We're at the Tutura Smart Farm in a block, what we call our virus experiment. It's on pears. Uh, the cultivar is Corella and it's grafted to Quincy rootstock. One row, the row on this side here, is a virus free, certified virus free rootstock material, and the row on the other side has not been treated and it does have a virus in it um, and you can partially see that when you look down the rows at the moment you can see a little bit of leaf yellowing the trees are a little bit more stunted than than this row here um, these trees were planted uh, they're in their third leaf so they were planted in spring 2019 so we yet to get a good yield off them which is probably going to happen next year um, and we'll see what impact that clean versus a, a virus material will have on on yield but for now it it very much looks like there are differences in just the overall health and and vigor of the trees so what we're seeing here is uh, the effect of a, a virus versus a, a clean material on overall tree health but as we start to get yield on these trees, I, I'm, I think that what will happen is that obviously the material that's not clean with a virus in it, yield will be depressed. Uh, you can get problems with fruit quality. The fruit can actually start to get all wonky and shrivelly and all these things go wrong with it. So uh, it's pretty important that we actually do have virus certified virus free rootstock material when the trees are planted. And to avoid any risk, in this particular experiment here, obviously we've got trees in adjoining rows that are infected and not infected. We try to go through some pretty important protocols to avoid contamination from you know, the dirty material onto the clean material. And, and that means that, as an example, you know, we stick to only pruning the rows of trees that are virus free for a start. Uh, we wouldn't touch the other trees when we're pruning. Um, we, we definitely avoid any material that might get you know pruned and used for uh, uh, grafting any other uh, other trees as an example um, and um, we you know go through a process of just making sure that there is a very low risk of contamination from one row to the next row oh, I think what'll I, I think what'll happen is the yield will get uh, worse and worse as time progresses in the dirty material so you know next year we might see you know a pretty good yield even in the uh, dirty i'll call it the dirty rootstock material versus the clean um, uh, but as time progresses i think these trees will just slowly start to go more and more backwards and yield will get more and more depressed and fruit size will be impacted as i was uh, you know explaining before